A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Thursday, August 19th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. When school reopens on September 1st in the Newburgh and Large City School District, classes will be conducted in person. Superintendent Dr. Roberta Padilla made the announcement during a Zoom town hall session on Wednesday afternoon. The superintendent expects a mask mandate and three-foot social distancing to be in place. The CDC and the American Pediatrics Association have advised that school that students be in school. So again, you have two of the biggest agencies and they're saying children need to be back in school. Padilla also strongly encouraged children over the age of 12 to be vaccinated, subject to parents' approval. Visitation across New Vance Health is temporarily paused, except for special patient populations and extenuating circumstances. The change in visitation goes into effect today as hospitals continue a rise in COVID cases. The visitation policy update includes inpatient hospital units, emergency departments, ambulatory services, and New Vance Health medical practices locally. This includes Northern Duchess Hospital, Vassar Brothers Medical Center, and Putnam Hospital. The Ulster County Legislature's Criminal Justice Reform Task Force has laid out its recommendations. Originally, it was convened in October 2019 to examine the long-term impacts of Bail reform and discovery reform, said Legislature Chairman David Donaldson. But he said the perfect storm of the COVID pandemic and George Floyd's murder forced everyone to question how the criminal justice system can better protect the most vulnerable populations and to examine how to identify, prevent, and respond to discrimination. More news in just a moment. The new school year is right around the corner, and the Galleria at Crystal Run in Middletown is the ultimate destination for your back-to-school essentials. Shop the latest fashions from American Eagle, Champs, DSW, Forever 21, Hollister, Journeys, and more. Visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com for a complete list of deals for students and teachers. The Galleria at Crystal Run, your back-to-school shopping headquarters. The Baxter Construction Company wants to construct a 104 apartment complex in five buildings on Route 9W in Marlboro. Members of the family-owned business brought their plans to the Ulster County Industrial Development Agency board yesterday, seeking a payment in lieu of taxes to help offset the cost of the $31 million project. Eric Baxter says the apartments, a mix of market rate And affordable housing would help ease the continued housing shortage in the Hudson Valley. We think it's a great location with the proximity to both Poughkeepsie, Kingston and Newburgh um, on the south end of Ulster County. Baxter's proposal for financial incentives is in the early stages with a request for an 18-year pilot agreement through the IDA. The city of Poughkeepsie government is working toward updating its comprehensive plan and a committee has been established to gather public input. PK for Keeps is the community-based group that will be hosting meetings in the coming weeks, including one held earlier this week, to gather ideas for the plan's revisions. Don Minichino, a Poughkeepsie resident and a commercial realtor, is a member of the steering committee. Progress comes from within, Uh, you know, especially over the last, you know, five, six years. There's been a lot of uh, new development coming to Poughkeepsie, a lot of new faces in Poughkeepsie. uh, And, you know, this is a comprehensive effort to make sure that the people who have lived here a long time, the businesses who have been here a long time, are providing just as much input as the new people that are coming in uh, and developing the properties. Chef Brandon Walker is a member of the PK for Keep Steering Committee. And the owner of Essie's Restaurant, he said community involvement is vital. New York Stewart International Airport has been awarded over $3.8 million by the FAA through the American Rescue Plan. The money will be used to cover costs incurred due to the pandemic, including for sanitization and personal protective equipment. Ensuring Stewart is the funding it needs to reboot and expand its operations in the wake of the pandemic is a top priority for me in Washington said Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.